Hello guys and welcome back. If you're new to the channel then please consider subscribing to get regular updates and videos. Anyway, for this dinofile video I wanted to talk about the incredible and most famous fake dinosaur, Dimetrodon. Now from first glance it looks like a dinosaur with the classical features such as scaly skin, sharp teeth and it being prehistoric. What doesn't make it a dinosaur? What doesn't make it the same classification as the mighty T-Rex? Here's why. Firstly, this creature lived in the Permian around 299 to 252 million years ago, which is the era exactly before the one that introduced the first dinosaurs. During this period, a completely different type of animal dominated the Earth, which began a chain of evolutionary features that we still see today. These animals are called stem mammals, the classification of Dimetrodon. But also, despite their appearance, some species would go on to evolve into the human race and other mammals of today. Before the Permium, all animals possessed the same sized teeth throughout their mouth. However, it is evident that Dimetrodon had evolved to have two sets of different sized teeth, with the larger ones being at the front and the smaller ones residing at the back of the mouth. This adaptation would have been used to make consumption much easier and more efficient, as the larger teeth would have been best for Terran flesh off a body. This feature, however, caused this species to be called Dimetrodon, which means to measure tooth. Since the majority of proto mammals possess this beneficial adaptation, it can still be seen in all mammals. Another astonishing feature Dimetrodon has is the cell on its back, which could have been used for loads of things such as regulating body temperature with blood being heated up in the cell, mating or even hoarding off predators or other rivaling dimetrodons. The stem mammal Edaphosaurus closely resembled a, a dimetrodon, however it was a herbivore. Nonetheless, the interesting fact is that it was actually the prey of dimetrodon. Sadly, despite its pioneering evolutionary adaptations, the species met its end in the Great Dying, the largest extinction event in history as it saw 96% of marine species go extinct as well as 70% of terrestrial species. This wasn't the end however as some surviving proto-mammal species evolved into small rodent-like creatures throughout the Mesozoic or rather the Age of Dinosaurs. So the next time you watch a Jurassic Park film, remember that Dimetrodon may be slightly related to these, but it is extremely more closely related to this guy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know by dropping a like and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you can see more dinosaur videos. Also, feel free to check out what else I do, but for now, see you soon. <laughs>